Hey guys, bonjour à tous. Ici, je vais donner plus d'astuces pour le vocabulaire en français. Et spécifiquement, je vais donner les expressions utiles à utiliser quand vous voulez exprimer une histoire. These are useful expressions when you're trying to tell a story, quand vous voulez raconter des histoires. On y va. One good expression to use is au fil du temps. Au fil du temps means over time. You can use it to describe a progression of events. You can say like au fil du temps, j'ai remarqué que mes amis étaient méchants. For example, something like that. Au fil du temps, over time, I realized that my friends were mean. Something like that allows me to um, express the progression over time using that expression. Au fil du temps. Deuxième, you could use autrement dit. Autrement dit means otherwise stated. Autrement dit is a good one. So when giving an explanation, use autrement dit, otherwise stated. Numéro trois, c'est alors que. This is a really good one. C'est alors que. This one means that's when. It's basically the same as c'est quand. C'est alors que. So you can use this to describe a suspenseful event in French. Like, c'est alors que, soudainement, on a vu le victime. Like, suddenly we saw the victim. So you can say, like, c'est alors que, that's when. That's another good one you can use. Use that in your writing and in your speaking. So it's good for, like, um, the paper two writing exam and the oral exam as well. C'est alors que. Et puis, on a face à cette situation. Face à cette situation. This one means face with the situation. So here you can explain a course of events. And like finding a solution. Face à cette situation. That's a good one. En fin de compte. En fin de compte is the next one. That's another good expression to use. That means at the end of the day. At the end of the day. So you can use this to give a conclusion for events. En fin de compte. Et puis on a le suspens était à son comble. Le suspens était à son comble. This means the suspense was at its height. So we're describing like the climax of an event. The suspense being at its highest. Le suspens était à son comble quand j'ai vu le victime. You could say, the suspense was at its highest when I saw the victim. So that's what we'd say here. Le suspense était à son comble. That's another good one to use. Be sure to use that. Et puis on a peu à peu. That means gradually or little by little. Peu à peu. On peut utiliser ça aussi pour exprimer des progressions. So we can also use this to express progressions. Peu à peu. A really good one to use. Okay, those are good expressions to use in French for telling stories. Let's go over them again. We have au fil du temps, which means over time. We have autrement dit, which means otherwise stated. We have c'est alors que, which means that's when. We have face à cette situation, which means face with the situation. We have peu à peu, which means little by little. And we have le suspens était à son comble. That means the suspense was at its peak. Okay, be sure to use those in your writing and speaking. Et bon chance avec tout ça. Try them on your exams and you should do pretty well. Check out all my resources down in the pinned comment. Au revoir et bon chance.